Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. So today we are here to do a fun video. This is for the page um, Crafty Manipulators on Facebook. Um, I am an admin on that page, um, but it's actually Trish C and Lasagna's page. I just help out where I can. Um, you know, just be nosy in their business. You know, that's how I do. <laughs> but anyway, this video is for the event called Rebuilding Your Stash. So it's basically anyone can join. Um, it's so you can do just that rebuild your stash. Um, sometimes you just need, you know, some flowers. You may not have them already made or you may not have bought them. And you just are like, oh, I don't have time to do that. I'm trying to get the swap out, whatever. So this is just to build it up. Um, at the end of, I think it's one, two, three, four, five. At the end of five weeks, then um, you'll be assigned a partner. And then you just mail your partner some of the stash that you made. So that way you both can have some extra stash. Um, and there you go. So this is this week is flowers, next week is rosettes, and then there's banner clips, altar clothespins, tiny embellishments, and then thank you, hello card sets. Um, so this week for flowers, these are the sets that I have made. I did um, the six petal flower. I did a scallop circle flower. I did um, rolled flowers, and I did these um, flowers by Stampin' Up. It is um, the Boho Punch, it's three little flowers. So I'm gonna do a tutorial on all of them real fast. They're all super simple um, to do. So we're gonna start off with this flower. So this one I love to do because um, you can ink it and make it look completely different. So now it looks more like a carnation um, I just ink pink around the edges. You can use your um, re-inkers and dye them and whatnot. Um, I did use the linen cardstock from Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. That is my favorite um, paper. It's very nice to work with, very strong. Um, so all I did was take the punch. Um, you can use this punch. Tim Holtz has it. Uh, I'm not sure if Stampin' Up! Hill still has this because mine's quite old, but... Um, I know Tim Holtz has it. I know it's on the, the um, Silhouette store if you have a Cameo. Um, and there is a PDF on Google. If you just Google search printable six petal flower, it'll pop up this exact flower that you can print out and cut. Um, so yeah, so you just, just need one with six petals. There you go. Um, let's get my face out of there. <laughs> So all you need is a tiny bit of water. I just have this little spray bottle that I bought from Walmart, you know, the 88 cents. And I just literally barely spritz it. And then you're just going to crumple it up. So you're going to repeat that four times. Oh yeah, sorry. I just punched it out four times. You can do more layers if you want. Um, I think it looks quite full with just the, um, the four. Um, I'm not really sure if we had to package the flowers. I did, just because um, I don't need to really rebuild my stash um, because I do a lot of these tutorials. So I have a lot already made. So I'm just going to give all of it to my partner. Okay, so all I did was just crumple it up like so and just unfold it. If it tears, it's fine. When it dries, the fibers will dry back together. That's why you don't want to, like, make it wet. You just want to mist it. And the only reason why you do that is to make it easier for you to crumple. And I think the more wrinkles in it, it's it looks real. Um, so I'm just going to stack the flowers. And this is where you, you want to make sure, if you did over-wet your flowers, kind of just let them dry because you're going to punch through this. Um, I used a crop -a -dial. You can use a pokey tool, um, a regular hole punch, whatever you have. You can actually skip this step and just staple it if you want. Um, I like the look of it with brads, just so it has like that little center gold peeping out. You can make it like this one I completely covered, the brad, and this one up here I left it open. So it's really your choice. Um, how you want to do it. This one I didn't quite get in the center, but that's okay. So this is what I do. I start um, 
I just kind of pull the layers apart and then start at the top and I'm going to offset it just a little bit and then you just crinkle it back up on itself. This third layer um, is probably a little bit more wet than what I wanted it to be but it's not drenched. And the water just breaks down the fibers of the paper. You don't have to use the water step, um, but if you're making a ton of these, your hand will hurt after a while if you don't use the water. So it's, it's your, if you're making like one or two, I mean, obviously you can just skip the water step, but. So now you're just gonna see how I'm just taking my thumb and just kinda um, pulling it out. So this one, I think I'm going to keep the bread covered because it did a really cute um, inside petal business going on here. So just feather it out as open or as closed as you want. See this one? They're the same size. It's just this one's a little bit more open than this one is. So that's it. That's the whole tutorial for these amazing flowers. Okay, so... The next one, and yeah, that was real time, no fast forwarding, is going to be these flowers. So these ones look really cute. You can make them into carnations. Um, when you do like, you know, the whites and stuff like that, they're really cute carnations. So this is some textured paper I got from Michaels years ago. It's just called Recollections Textured Paper. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, these ones are kind of easy, so I'm not going to do the water step. So these ones are pretty pliable. So, but we are gonna go ahead and do the crumple. Um, you know, just ball it up like a spitball, I guess. Don't spit on it though, it's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, and then four. Again, I did four, you could do five. Um, these ones are four, but I punched out another one because that, that's how much paper I had left. So I'll just do this one five. Okay, again, just open them back up and just keep opening them. This one I am going to staple. I just use a regular um, office stapler, nothing fancy. I don't have one of those paper fasteners, the Tim Holtz ones. I just have one that I stole off my dad's desk 10 years ago. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Let me make sure that they're all open all the way. You can layer them offset. I kind of offset them a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't make a big fuss out of it. I try to get it in the middle as best as I can and just staple. That one's not in the middle at all. So I'm just gonna pop the staple out and redo it. Um, and honestly, it doesn't matter, but the more centered your staple is, the easier it is to um, get your layers in. Okay, that's much better. And now just like the other flower, we're just gonna start layer by layer. And we're just going to smoosh it into, up into itself. So this one, these papers here, I had, um, at first I tried to cut poinsettia leaves out on it on my Cameo, but I didn't adjust my blade accordingly. So it only cut on the top half. It did not go all the way through. So every so often I have a, a wonky piece just flying out, but see like it's kind of torn right there, but that's because of the poinsettia flower. But as you can see, it does not do anything to the final project. All right. So just the same thing, you just feather it out with your thumb. The more layers, the thicker it is. And you're just going to manipulate it until you get it to what you like. That's it. So there's that one. 
see these are simple flowers these are quick simple but they gave you that wow factor all I did was back them up on some gold paper the gold paper is a Michael's recollection pack it is the regular gold gold foil um, you know get it when it has those packs you know five for ten dollars or whatever it is and I just put a simple paper topper and I used some of the scraps and made the bow okay our next flower chugging right along is this one here I use the Stampin' Up Boho Blossoms punch and I just punched out three again you could get these shapes in Cameo Store I'm sure the Cricut Studio has it you can hand cut them from Google um, no big deal this one I did use the foam mat from my paper piercer you can use any foam mat I just have mine from Stampin' Up um, I layered my cardstock gave it a little tiny bit spritz not even a full squeeze and I used um, my teaspoon here this or half a teaspoon this is what I use I don't even know where I got this from it's a kids <laughs> it's a kids one and um, I use it just to shape the flower Actually, I use this teaspoon thing for my um, to make my shimmer mist. I used the shimmer paint and I put it in the alcohol. But you just need something round. If you have the the rounding tools, use those. But that's what I have, so that's what I'm using. Um, these ones are super simple. You're just going to layer them up and pop a hole in the middle with your pokey tool. Just make sure these are kind of centered as best as you can get it. You can ink the edges would be really cute. I chose a brown brad because I think pink and brown are a beautiful combination. You can do any color brad you have in the middle or candy dot or whatever. These are flat flowers. Um, and now I just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit more. Um, cause my foam pad is not that pliable. Um, if I brought out my other foam pad, it would have been a little bit more, um, easier to get that shape, but there you go. That's it with that flower. So it is super cute. Um, you can use these on cards. Um, it'll cut down on shipping cause they're, you know, they're nice and flat. You can use them on anything really. I think they're super cute. Um, if you use the biggest of the three and you um, do the same technique as we did with these ones, um, it looks like a marigold. So, if you know anyone who likes marigolds, you can do that. And then last but not least, we have our rolled flowers. So I have two different rolled flowers. I have one which is um, this die right here. I got this from Amazon. It's one of the cheap um, dies, you know, that come from China. Um, it has this size and the size so you can do those um, so that's one of the rolled flowers and then the other rolled flower I just used a two inch circle punch you can trace anything but I have the punch so I used it um, you know anything circular you can do a scalloped one and your edges will be roughly um, you know just however your heart desires so for the rolled flower it's very simple. Um, you can use, there's like special tools, like quilling tools. I just use my fingers. And then you just literally just roll it. Which, you know, just be mindful, whichever. If you use double sided paper, um, roll it the way that, you know, you want, which side you want to go on the outside, which to go on the inside. For me, it doesn't matter. So I just pick them up however I roll them, I roll them. So see, we're just rolling it. That's it. This one is easier to use with um, hot glue or glue dots. Um, just because you are rolling and then you're just going to kind of, when you get to the end and you have like this funky butt piece, you're just going to kind of let your flower go and then just kind of make it match. So it looks like it's all rolled together. That's why I don't, I don't particularly care to use the dies. Um, I like to make my own because I can, um, 
alter this piece how I want. So you're just going to pop your hot glue and stick it in like so. That's it. And then just kind of pull out the pieces. So for these particular ones, I put in the coffee colored rhinestones, which came from Walmart. So um, I just popped out the medium sized one. And um, I fill the center with hot glue and then just stick this on top. I mean, you don't have to fill the center with hot glue, but um, I like the pearl to be on top and instead of on the bottom. So I just kind of let it dry just as, you know, a few seconds, like while I was talking. And then you just put it in and hope you don't put it sideways like I just did. But even sideways, it's cute. There we go. And now I just like to pick out the strings and the extra glue that was on top because I put it on sideways first so it spilled out. There we go. And just kind of ruffle your edges and make it look like a flower. So there's that one. Um, for your circle or your scallop circle or whichever one you want, um, you're just going to take your scissors and start cutting. Um, you don't want it to be too thick or too thin. So I always have to trim mine because I don't cut straight. Um, so actually this one I'm doing pretty good. You're just making this circular shape like a spiral and just come in. I like to make my little piece super small like that so that way I can um, cover it up. But like if you have any funky like points, like that's a funky point, just trim it off. Okay. And then again, whichever way you want, um, what you want to be on the outside, what you want to be on the inside, just take it and I bend the first piece like that and then I just keep going. I mean, it's just paper, so. Um, these flowers are easier to do with um, designer paper because usually papers with designs are a little bit thinner. You can do these with cardstock, but um, they're hard to they're they're hard to manipulate, and you're trying to roll them, and so just if I were you, I would just do the thinner um, papers. But some people like to work hard so I'm not I'm not a um, hard crafter I'm a make my life easier crafter <laughs> all right so you just keep rolling it up the tighter you roll it the smaller it's going to be you can always um, zhuzh it out uh, so if you see how like I just accidentally let it go and now it's like all big um, and then I just tore it. And that's fine. Um, if you tear it, because it's a rolled flower, just um, put a little piece of glue and keep going. Just glue it right back on top. And keep rolling. See? No big deal. Now if it's on the outer, I would just leave it off. But the inner, it doesn't matter because you can't see it anyway. So that's what happens. I get over um, overzealous with it sometimes. And so now I don't want it to be that tight, so I am going to let it go. But I don't want these small, these bottom pieces to be that big. See how that just looks weird? So you can do one or two things. You can completely cut that off, or you can just um, rewrap it. And I'm probably going to cut mine off depending on how it goes back in. There we go. So I am just going to go ahead and put glue on the bottom. So these ones sometimes I just glue directly on my mat and just stick them on and that's how, I, that's how they go. 
um, <laughs> this one I accidentally folded up. But here's the here's the way to fix that. Let me show y'all real quick. See how I like folded it? Here we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. World flowers are very forgiven, as you can see. So I'm glad you guys got to see the mistakes because look, you can't tell where I pieced it and you can't tell that I just cut half of that loop off. They are very forgiving. And if you want them, you know, to be tighter together, just add more glue. Um, oh, this is supposed to be a low temp. It's really hot. It's been on for a long time. I'm just going to peel this glue off. There we go. That's it. And then that one, I put in a white pearl. Um, but I don't know where my white pearls are. So we can do a coffee color one. You can do bling. You can put whatever you want in the center, really. Um, it will all look really cute. Um, but yeah, I just put little tiny pearls. I'm going to do the um, coffee ones. I'm going to do this size. Again, see this one has a nice little tuck spot I can tuck it in. Um, I'm using my tweezers because my hot glue gun's been on for, I've been using it for probably like two, three hours. And even though it's a low temp, it is very hot. Normally I just stick my hand in it, but I ain't crazy today. There we go. So super cute. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is my tutorial for four different flowers in under 20 minutes. Um, yeah. So, and then the packaging again, I just stuck for this one. I just put a gold piece of paper and I put them on glue dots. I used a piece of the paper as a topper and then this bow for these ones. I did the gold paper background, a bow, and then a pearl. And I just kind of put it off to the side. You don't have to have paper toppers. Same thing with that. I didn't want paper topper and I used the bow on the inside. So the recipient can peel this off and use it how they see fit. And this one I just did a cream bow and I inked it with um, vintage photo or cream topper, I should say. Simple packaging. Um, the bows I did the tutorial on, it's the um, envelope punch board bows. Um, so yeah, so when, well, when I do bows next not next week, but the week after, y'all will see that bow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out my Facebook page, Coffee Cake and Crafting, and my other Facebook page, well, not my other Facebook page, but the other Facebook page that I'm on, Crafty Manipulators. Um, be sure to check everyone out. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.